Hey gents, at one point I did want to do like a roundup of all the food subscription things like HelloFresh and Blue Apron, XYZ, um, and I never really got to that, but I'm re really curious to try out one in particular because I'm all about meat. Today we're taking a look at Butcher Box. So this was actually on my porch for the past few hours while I was at work, but I'm gonna unbox it, talk about what's inside, talk about the service, and then I'm gonna go cook something too. So uh, we'll flip over to the unboxing, make sure you're subscribed, and then if there's any sort of deal or discount, I'll put that down in the description as well. Wow, how crazy is that? I shot that video in August of 2018. I still haven't done a video on Butcher Box until today. And there's so many things I wanna tell that young, young John. But uh, I've been subscribed to ButcherBox now for two years since I shot that video in August of 2018. And I have a lot of thoughts on the service. I've made almost everything that they have sent me. And the short and long of it is, it's a great service, you should sign up, but let's talk about why. First, here's the footage I shot in August 2018, unboxing the beef for the first time. And then I've shot subsequent videos uh, making the food over time. And I've had a variety of different things come from them. And I've been impressed every single time. So what drew me to the service in the first place is the fact that you get custom boxes each month of different meats and you can choose to get, you know, like a classic box, a mixed box, a beef box, a pork box. And for the most part, you're looking at around $150 per month, depending on what you get. And then they run promos all the time, like you get free lifetime of bacon or free wings or something. And then you can also add piecemeal to each month's delivery if you want extra sausage. Like we get breakfast sausage every single time because I really like their breakfast sausage. And then on top of that, my family has a farm where we grow grass-fed, uh, you know, black Angus beef and, and cattle. And I know the difference that it tastes when you are getting incredible beef like this. And Butcher Box is 100% grass-fed and grass-finished which is different than just saying grass-fed. What you'll get sometimes when a company claims to have grass-fed beef is that it's actually grass-finished or they will have grass-fed with a mixture, uh, but ButcherBox is none of that. They have completely free-range organic chicken and their entire supply chain is really optimized around getting you the best tasting and the best for you beef. Everything is delivered in a box. They've actually changed the packaging quite a bit since that original box between the way that the dry ice is packed. But for the most part, if it sits on your doorstep for you know six hours, it's still cold. And then you can just put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. We freeze a lot of our stuff. Half of it we'll put in the refrigerator, let it thaw in the refrigerator. I have not been able to taste the difference between a steak that has been frozen in the freezer and a steak that I buy at Whole Foods refrigerated, bring it home and cook it because the process has just been really well optimized. I mostly cook the meat in my mellow cooker, which is a sous vide style, but then I've also grilled steaks and then made the breakfast sausage and the bacon and everything and completely impressed with all of it. It's also really important to me that the shipping is very flexible. You're not getting a box every single month. You can do it every two weeks, every four weeks, every six weeks. You can do an on-demand delivery. You have to give them some lead time. You can't just say I need a box you know, on Thursday. And they also run a ton of specials around the holidays so I can get like a big turkey from them, which is an amazing tasting turkey. And, and that flexibility club membership style is why I really like something like Bespoke Post because you don't have to get a box every single month, but if you want to, you can. You can order things on demand, but you're getting amazing product and you're not actually paying that much of a premium. So the way the pricing works out, like I said, you're looking at around $150 per box. And we've definitely tried all of the other subscription services where they send you like a meal kit. And there's a lot of convenience associated with that, but that was not really a selling point to me. The selling point to me is having a really nice steak, a really nice piece of chicken, you know, the, the bacon or the sausage that they send. And so I see the convenience in the delivery kits and I know it works out to be, you know, less than a restaurant, but to me, I'd rather pay for a really nice steak and a really nice piece of meat and then add additional, you know, cook my own stuff on the side. And so to me, when you're comparing the subscription boxes, that's why this is like kind of in its own category versus the meal delivery kits because, you know, those while very convenient, to me, the butcher box offers a lot more value. You know, the way I've explained the pricing to my friends and family, which is you, my friends, and I think some of my family watches this, uh, is you cannot compare ButcherBox to like your run of the mill grocery store beef chicken. Uh, you cannot compare the prices that way because for the most part, most of the grocery stores do not have grass fed organic chicken. And so the comparison is really to the stuff that you would get at a Whole Foods or like at a higher end market. So when you compare the price for pound, that's what you have to look at 
And then on top of that, the way that we've done it at my house is I get a butcher box every other month. And the way that that plays out is we mostly shop at Costco, Whole Foods, and Trader Joe's. We get a lot of our meat and our groceries at Whole Foods, and then you know Trader Joe's is a lot of stuff, and then as much bulk stuff we can buy at Costco from the beef and the fruit and that sort of thing comes from Costco. And on the months that we get our butcher box, so we're paying that 100, you know, it's like a 150 to 175, depending on what I throw in the box, our grocery spend is even across all of the months, depending on if we're getting from ButcherBox or not. And so even though we are buying our meat at Costco, which does have a lot of organic beef and a lot of organic chicken, our monthly food expense and the amount of food that we get is even across the board. Because then, you know, as we're going shopping, we say, hey, we don't need to buy this at Costco. We're getting it in the butcher box. We don't need to buy this at Whole Foods. We're getting it in the butcher box. And so the, the price comparison is, to me is very favorable. If you're comparing it to what you get like on sale at the grocery store, it's not the best deal. But in order to get 100% grass-fed beef or organic free-range chicken, like those are the price comparisons you have to make and that's why I've remained subscribed for 2 years and I've even I've received additional boxes, you know, not just every other month I've gone in and added additional boxes in there and we've decided as a family that one of our bigger expenses is going to be food because we want to buy the best stuff that we can, eat very healthy. My daughter has a ton of allergies, so we have to be very careful around what we're eating, the way that it's processed. And so as I said at the top, highly recommend the service. There's definitely some really cool deals that you can jump in on at the right time. They're always running different promotions. And just wanna make sure you keep in mind when you're looking at the price comparisons, like you're not comparing it to the, you know, $15 steak, sirloin steak that you get at the grocery store, you compare it to something much nicer that you're getting at a higher end grocer because of the way that the beef is treated, grass fed, and shipped to you. It's also, it's super convenient. It's like, I, w I would love to get more of my groceries sent this way. And actually, you know, we've been doing a lot of Whole Foods delivery uh, as we haven't been leaving the house much, which has been interesting. So there you have it, gents. If you love great meat like me, I know this is available in the lower 48 and, and pretty much everywhere. I definitely would recommend trying it. I'll put a link below. If there's any sort of promo going on, uh, I'll try to link to that so that you can get the best deal as you can. As usual, this video is not sponsored. It's a service that I'm really into, I think you could benefit from, and I've seen enough you know, discussion of it online that I wanted to put in my two cents after being subscribed for two years. If you think that I've aged well from that video two years ago, let me know. That was when I had my my classic haircut. And uh, if I should grow it out again, I kind of like my hair being this kind of short, you know, slightly grown out buzz. It's a much easier maintenance, but uh, I'd love to hear from you guys as always. I'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. And if there's more services like this, I mean, I've done as many of the subscription boxes as I can, but if you like these sort of off topic uh, videos, I'd love to hear from you as well. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.